Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I channel messages from film, music, and books. And I'm excited and honored to be doing a reading for you today. In today's video, I will be channeling messages from songs for each zodiac sign. And I was guided to this playlist called Winter Music Mix that Spotify created for me. So that is the playlist I'll be using to see which songs to channel from. So how the reading will work. Down below, you will find timestamps for each zodiac sign. And from there, you can go directly to your reading. Also, a lot of general messages come through. So if you find a message doesn't resonate for you, that's 100% okay. Don't try to force something that does not fit. Only take what resonates and leave what does not. Thank you so much again for being here and let's jump into the readings. Hello Capricorn souls, happy new year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far and I am so grateful that you are here. So let's cleanse the energy here before we get started and jump right into your reading, shall we? Okay, so your channeled lyrics are from the song Open Your Eyes by Strifeker. And they are the following. Come with me out in the light. Living as somebody else, boy. Open your eyes. You gotta try, boy. Open your eyes. Okay, Capricorn. So let's see what your cards are. First we have... You decided to wake up or else why did you draw me? the Ten of Scoops or the Ten of Pentacles. And finally, this card is in reverse. So upright, it says, my super attractor power comes from how I feel, my faith and love and the joy I put out. Okay, so the first and second lyrics state, come with me out in the light, living as somebody else, boy. Many of you are waking up to your truth and your spirit guides are letting you know it's safe for you to express and live your truth. They are saying it's safe to come out into the light for they are with you every step of the way. I also feel many of you live or work in environments that don't resonate with you. Perhaps it has even felt like you were living someone else's life at times. And this lyric does state the word boy, but this reading is for whomever resonates with the messages regardless of gender or however you identify. And this next message coming through, it won't resonate with everyone, but I do feel that gender identity has caused some issues for some of you. And what I mean by this is that other people haven't accepted you for who you are. But despite the opinions of others, it's important for you to stand in your light anyway and live your life on your terms as you will never be happy if you live your life to please others. It's impossible to make everyone happy, so you might as well make sure that you choose your happiness first. With open your eyes and this first card, you decided to wake up or else, why did you draw me? 
Some of you may be artists or painters. I'm seeing a vision of someone actually channeling divine messages through artwork or paintings. But whatever you create, people feel the messages from your work without even speaking about them. So it's important for you to continue to create because your work has a big impact on people even if you don't see physical evidence of it. But being your authentic self and utilizing all of your gifts, talents, and potential is leading to this Ten of Scoops energy here, or Ten of Pentacles. This is the ultimate card of abundance and financial prosperity. You have big dreams, <laughs> and it's important to protect your dreams, as I'm drawn to how he has his arms crossed on the card here. <laughs> Don't listen when other people say you cannot do something. Block that energy out and keep moving toward what lights you up because you will not only prove the haters wrong, but you will see what is truly possible for you. Set boundaries where necessary for yourself. I'm also drawn to the ice cream that he's holding in each of his hands here. Some of you may work at an ice cream shop or you're starting your own ice cream business or potentially starting a business of some sort. And it will be successful as long as you don't give up. Because the final card here is in the reverse. So your guides are suggesting to pay attention to your energy as it's our vibe that attracts things into our experience. What you want to manifest will come from how you feel, your faith and love, and the joy you put out. All emotions matter, so if you are feeling negative emotions, allow yourself to feel them, but don't stay there. Put your focus on something you enjoy so you can change your energy. Where focus goes, energy flows. So putting your focus on something like creating or doing something for your business sends energy to what you want to manifest in your life. And have faith in your creations, because you wouldn't put energy towards them if you didn't love them. When we create from a place of love and joy, we can never go wrong because of the authenticity it brings. And when we put ourselves out there in the world, in all of our authentic glory, the universe responds in kind. You have so much to offer, beautiful Capricorn. Let that light shine. <laughs> and that is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps me out so much. Thank you again for being here, and I will see you on the next video. I love you all so much. Bye. Hey, Aquarius souls. Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. So first off, I'm just cleansing the energy before we start your reading. And we'll immediately jump into it here, okay? All right, so your channeled song lyrics are from the song Bodies by the Knox. I'm still thinking about that summer, lying awake all alone. Keep on passing that house on the corner, but there's nobody home. Okay, Aquarius, so let's see what your cards are. First, we have the activated ally in reverse. We have the eight of dice or the Eight of Swords. And finally, we have 
When I'm tuned in to the energy of abundance, I become abundant. Okay, Aquarius, so with your song lyrics, I feel like some of you had someone leave your life recently. With the first lyric, it very well could have been someone you met in the summer or spent a summer with. And you think about this person all the time, as the next lyric states, lying here all alone. And with keep on passing that house on the corner, but nobody's home, this very well could have been someone who moved away, or it could mean they just left. I also feel an energy of being ignored when you attempt to reach out to them. It really feels like this person was in your life one minute and was gone the next. So with the activated ally in reverse here, Spirit is showing me that you truly believed this person was meant to stay in your life. I'm getting friendship vibes for some of you, and others you thought this was the one. But with activated ally being in reverse, spirit is showing me this wasn't the case. This person was only meant to be in your life for a season to teach you something. And I do feel very strongly it relates to an abandonment wound. So any emotions of sadness, anger, or heartbreak this person stirred up in you, it was to help you heal and process the pain. This does not mean that you may never see this person again, but whatever the case may be, it's time to put the focus back on yourself and refuse to abandon yourself. Your soul is in need of you right now. With the Eight of Dice here, or the Eight of Swords, this card refers to a self-imposed prison. So Spirit is showing me how you are questioning the people in your life. I hear things like, where are the real ones? <laughs> and I do see there are many people in your life who care about you a lot. But sometimes when we are hurt badly by someone that we care about, that is all that we focus on. And this causes us to lose sight of the ones who are showing up for us. Also, this card typically shows a person wearing a blindfold, meaning they aren't seeing the way forward. Or it could also mean being blind to people who don't have good intentions. So for some of you, I do feel a back and forth energy where someone leaves and then comes back. If someone is doing this to you, they do not value you, okay? I was once in a casual relationship where I did want a real relationship. And the guy I was seeing did the back and forth dance. He would lie and say he did want to be with me. And then after seeing him, I didn't hear from him for months. And he ignored me in between that. Everything had to be on his time. And it took a really long time for me to take off my own blindfold. Don't fall for the back and forth trap, okay? It's not worth it. With this card here, it says, when I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. So spirit is showing me a lot of the beautiful things in your life, sweet Aquarius. But if you keep the blindfold on from this eight of dice here, you won't be able to see them. So it's time to get clear on the things you are a yes for and to set boundaries and say no to anything that doesn't align with your yes. If you want a supportive friend or partner, say no to unsupportive people. If you want more abundance, say no to anything that brings lack. If you want friends who don't gossip, are jealous and controlling, Say no to people who exhibit that behavior. And this doesn't mean you're judging them. It means you have an awareness of what you don't prefer in relationships and you are making your exit. The universe always says yes to us. 
So what are you saying yes to right now, Aquarius? Make sure it's things and people that make you happy. I'm also being drawn back to the lyric about the summer season. So I can feel that a major transformation is going to take place for you between now and then. And during this time, your spirit guides are going to help you trust your inner knowing if something feels off about someone. You are going to know exactly who is for you and who to walk away from. Be patient with this process as deep healing will take place. Honor your emotions and remember how loved you really are. Wow, Aquarius, beautiful. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me, and it helps out in a very big way, so thank you. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Hey Pisces souls, happy new year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far and I am so grateful that you are here. We will jump into your reading after we cleanse the energy here. I just got this Palo Santo for Christmas and I love it. <laughs> I love the smell of it too. And I certainly feel the change in the energy after I use it. I love it. But all right, let's get started. So Pisces, your channeled lyrics are from the song Awaken by Big Wild. Find your way home. Say that you're dreaming. I'll follow the way. Feels like I'm lost in you. Wave after wave. Okay, so let's see what your cards are. First we have, it's in reverse, but it says, your effortless effort is fully required. We have the lovers. Finally, we have, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. Okay, so with the first lyric, find your way home. I feel you have worked to find things and people that feel like home to you. There's a sense of longing here for authenticity and passion. And for some of you, this is about relationships. For others, this is about your personal passions and pursuits. With say that you're dreaming and all follow the way, I feel many of you are dreaming about your future reality where you are aligned with what it is you want. I also feel recurring dreams where the same people show up, some of which are love interests. And an interesting thing happened when I went to channel your song, Pisces. The song that Spirit originally chose for you was Almost by Hozier. But when I went to the playlist, that song was no longer in there. So there may be some additional messages from that song if you're interested in listening to it. But I also feel so drawn to that title, almost. It's like an energy of feeling like you are almost there to gain what you want. But then something happens where it feels so much further away. Also, with the title of your channeled song, Awaken, I feel you really look forward to dreaming every night because you spend time with your person and are shown glimpses of what is to come. The last lyric states... Feels like I'm lost in you wave after wave. 
So after having an amazing dream, I feel an energy of not wanting to awaken so you can stay in this place and energy you love so much. And I do feel some of your dreams have been frustrating as well because with your first card here, your effortless effort is fully required is in reverse. So this feels like wanting to give up and not wanting to put any more effort into something. The card right next to it is the lovers. So spirit is pointing out a lot of relationships. Many of you want to align with a higher level soulmate or a twin flame, one that you've been dreaming about in the physical. Others of you are having difficulties with the personal relationship in the physical. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who isn't putting much effort into your relationship as you would like. This could also represent friendships. I also see some of you are in relationships while dreaming about someone else, and that has been very confusing and painful and has been happening a lot more in the collective than a lot of people know or would admit to, okay? So you're not alone if you're experiencing that. With the last card here, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. Spirit is saying this is not the time to give up on your dreams, okay? The energies are aligning, but patience is being required. I'm also drawn to the wallet on the card here. So this could also indicate you giving up on people who do not value you so that the ones who do can enter your life. I feel like some of you have walked away, but are now wondering where your people are at. And this is also where the universe is saying they are coming in, but be patient while I catch up with your dreams. And the lover's card here is right after this card, but you must keep holding the vision and pay attention to any other messages being brought to you from the dream world. How oh, Pisces, beautiful messages coming through there. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and helps out in a big way. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Hey, Aries souls. Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. Just cleansing some energy here. I got this Palo Santo for Christmas, and I love it. This is the first time I've used it for a reading. I love the smell of it, too. Highly recommend for cleansing rituals. <laughs> So I want to jump right into your reading. Your channeled song lyrics are from the song Happy Man by Jungle. Blamed by the friends I lose, who's getting out of hand? To think they depend on you, it all could be different. Try to do something new. I've given everything. I want to be a happy man too. Okay, Aries, let's look at your cards here. First we have... Cut away what is no longer needed for you. The Magician. And finally, it's in reverse, but it says, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. Okay, so Spirit is showing me how you are walking away from people who no longer serve you, Aries. 
And this is something you will continue to do as time goes on. I also feel that it hasn't been easy and emotions like grief and guilt are surfacing. The first lyric, blamed by the friends I lose, is where I'm really feeling these emotions come up for you. I feel a lot of you have been treated badly by people who were supposed to be your friends. And now that you are no longer putting up with their BS, they are trying to guilt trip you for leaving. And Spirit wants to remind you that guilt tripping is a form of manipulation. You never have to feel bad for doing what's best for you. And it's okay to grieve the relationship you once had with these people. It wasn't all bad, and there were many moments of love. With the next lyrics, who's getting out of hand and to think they depend on you, Spirit is showing me you are the one these people always depended on but they weren't giving you the same support in return. With it could all be different and try something new. This is spirit saying that supportive and dependable people will enter your life as you let go of those who don't. New always comes in when we let go of the old. With I've given everything I want to be a happy man too, you are someone who bends over backwards for those you love, and you deserve to be treated this way as well. But ultimately, sweet Aries, you must believe you deserve happiness. I see you truly want happiness, as we all do. But believing we deserve it is important to manifest it. Your first card here says to cut away what is no longer needed for you. So this is a reiteration from spirit to keep letting go of what no longer serves. But in addition to people, this also means limiting beliefs. And the next card is the magician here. And this showing up shows me that you are an amazing manifester. So being very mindful of your beliefs and thoughts is going to be crucial because you have the ability to manifest very quickly. So for example, holding on to beliefs like, I have no supportive friends, this kind of thinking will keep you attracting people of this nature. Let's flip the script here, Aries. You have amazing people in your life. They are supportive, nurturing, and dependable. And you can depend on them as much as they can depend on you. And remember, when you catch yourself in a negative loop of thinking, you can break the loop and affirm to yourself the beliefs and thoughts that do feel good for you. Your last card here, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good in reverse. So this is spirit wanting you to remember how worthy you are and you deserve to feel good. If you've made some mistakes in the past, it's time to forgive yourself. When we can't forgive ourselves, that also contributes to our beliefs and thoughts, and that affects manifestation as well. Your magician power, Aries, is at an all-time high, so make sure to love yourself and focus on everything that makes you happy. What you want is already yours. Claim it. Thank you, Aries. Those are your channeled song lyrics from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me, and it helps out in a big way. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, Taurus souls. Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. We're going to jump right into your reading here. I'm just cleansing the energy with some Palo Santo. I got this for Christmas, and I love it. It smells so good. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so your channeled lyrics are from the song, Can I Get It 
by Adele. So can I get it right now? Mm, can I get it right now? Can I get it here? Can I get it right now? Huh? Can I get it right now? <laughs> okay, Taurus, let's see what your cards are. First we have, I am galactic starseed blooming. The world in reverse. And finally, this is in reverse as well, and it says, I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Okay, well, Taurus, with these lyrics, Spirit is showing me you know exactly what it is you want, and you want it now. <laughs> And I am also hearing that song, I know what I want and I want it now. <laughs> so you, you have two different songs coming through your reading here, but there are lots of other lyrics in this song, but I was immediately drawn to these ones that keep repeating here. Can, it just keeps saying, can I get it right now? Can I get it here? Can I get it right now? So I also sense that you have a prayer practice or a manifesting routine where you ask for what it is that you want. And it's crucial to remain consistent with your routines, right? But Spirit is also bringing through some messages to help you even further. With I am galactic starseed blooming here, your efforts, your affirmations, your prayers, your inspired actions, all of these things are beginning to bloom and sprout in your reality. It is happening for you, Taurus. Just keep going because your persistence is paying off. With the world in reverse here, something has happened recently that has turned your world upside down. And with the two people holding hands and the light in the background, I do feel the energy of some loved ones who have crossed over or something has ended. So whatever has happened, it is okay to take time for yourself to heal and to process your emotions. But also with both of these cards together here, I feel an awakening happening. Many of you have been opening up to the spiritual realm and your spiritual gifts are activating. But I also sense some of you being further along on your journey and you've learned some difficult truths. And this is also the energy of feeling like your world has been turned upside down. I also feel the lyrics above relate to you wanting more answers or not all pieces of the puzzle have come together yet. Because this last card here is I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me and it's in reverse. So your guides are providing you with guidance but in order to hear it, they are saying to slow down and go within. Meditating can help with this. And sometimes meditating for longer periods can help as well. Also, meditating early in the morning will provide a quiet space where you can hear and feel more clearly. The answers you seek are available. Spirit is just saying to slow down and really listen, sweet Taurus. That is all that I am seeing, Taurus. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps out in a big way. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Hey Gemini souls, happy new year. I hope 2024 is treating you well and I am so grateful that you are here. I wanna jump immediately into your reading here but first I wanted to cleanse the energy with some Palo Santo. I got this for Christmas and I love it, it smells so good. 
There we go. <laughs> Love when it takes off like that. <laughs> All right, so your channeled lyrics are from the song Guts by Augustine. She falls flat on the bed again, mutters something about the end, while covering her eyes with both her hands. I, on the other hand, I feel fine with the way I am. Okay, Gemini, let's see what your cards say. First we have, it's in reverse, so upright it says, each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. Next we have death. Finally, it's also in reverse and it says, believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming even when I can't yet see the result. So there's a very interesting message coming through about death here. For some of you, there are many people who cross your path who are afraid of death. But once they come into a space with you and your energy, they feel more peaceful. You could be someone who helps others cross over without fear. Because the lyrics above, they speak as someone who isn't worried about anything ending. And you have the death card showing up in your reading here. So, she falls flat on the bed, mutters something about the end. This lyric is referring to someone consumed with worry and doubt. I, on the other hand, feel fine with the way I am. This energy is referring to you, Gemini. And this is because you've always had this inner knowing that death isn't the end. It's actually a transition to a new beginning. And people are very drawn to your light in this regard because no one wants to fear death. It's just something that has been programmed into the collective. But like all fears, it's okay to be afraid. But you are someone who certainly helps put people's fears at ease, especially with death. And the first card here, each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. And it's in reverse. So spirit is pointing to some things that are not in alignment with who you really are. Some of you are repeating a pattern over and over and haven't yet broken the cycle. And there's nothing wrong with this as we are always learning, okay? But with the death card right next door, there's something that wants to end. This card states, each turn requires you to give up who you think you are. So what are some things in your life right now that don't feel authentic to you? Perhaps it's certain people. As I'm drawn to this skeleton, let me get this card here. I'm drawn to the skeleton. She's like, the skeleton's reaching for the person sitting on the diving board there. So some of you may be walking away from toxic environments. And I also feel that many of you are coming into the awareness that you can't save everyone. Because on the card, the girl isn't doing anything to help the person in the water. And this is because we can't do the inner work for others. So this year will be huge for you in terms of learning detachment, Gemini. You are not responsible for healing others. You are certainly here to influence it. But a true healer helps others heal themselves. And if others keep demanding more and more from you without doing of their inner work, this is even more reason to detach, okay? You're not here to be a martyr and keep sacrificing yourself and your energy to keep others happy. With your last card, and it's also in reverse here, Spirit is suggesting that by believing in spiritual guidance, this will give you certainty 
if you feel like you are in the unknown. Also, if you've been working towards something and haven't yet seen results yet, you will in time, okay? But it's important to believe in the spiritual guidance you are receiving. Spirit is trying to point out what is not aligned with what it is that you want. We are actually always in alignment with what we have created in our reality. This is why it's important to raise your vibration and keep your beliefs and thoughts in alignment with what you do want to create. And your guidance is divinely guided. All you have to do is say yes to it and say no to what isn't aligned for you. And there is an alarm siren going on outside. <laughs> so I think that was spirit coming through saying, yep, that message at the end there, Gemini. So those are your messages. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps out in a very big way. So thank you. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, Cancer Souls. Happy New Year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. I want to jump right into your reading. First, I wanted to cleanse the energy here. I got this Palo Santo for Christmas, and I love it. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, so your channeled lyrics are from the song Wish I Knew You by the Revivalists. You shine like a star. You know who you are. You're everything beautiful. She's hot. Hot like the sun. The loneliest one. Still everything beautiful. Okay, Cancer. Let's see what your cards are. First we have, your greatest joy pollinates the world. We have the 10 of spokes in reverse or the 10 of cups in reverse. And finally, it's in reverse, but it says, when I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. Okay, so with the first two lyrics, you shine like a star and you know who you are. This really doesn't need an explanation, does it, Cancer? <laughs> you are a light in this world and you already know this. It's not something you need to be reminded of because you know how to remind yourself of this. And that's what true self-love is all about. You're learning to validate yourself and not look outside of yourself for it. With the next two lyrics, you're everything beautiful and she's hot, hot like the sun. Whatever you touch turns to gold, my friend. Your soul is truly beautiful and that beauty radiates on the outside because of this. With the last two lyrics, the loneliest one and still everything beautiful, spirit is showing me how your journey has felt lonely at times, but also how this is not deterring you from your mission. If you haven't aligned with your people yet, don't worry because you will, okay? Just keep shining and being your beautiful self because radiating that kind of energy on a daily basis is bound to attract like energy back to you. With your first card here, your greatest joy pollinates the world. I'm drawn to these bees that are buzzing around the flowers here. And <laughs> that's the message Spirit is bringing through that many of you are working like a bunch of busy bees. <laughs> and what you are working on is sprouting because of your consistent effort and the joy, love, and passion you put into it. I feel your love for your creations very strongly, and that is what it is all about. 
Some of you even smile while you work. I also see some of you wearing headphones and singing while you work. <laughs> but whatever you do, Cancer, you do it with love from your heart. And when other people see your creations, that love is felt on an energetic and soul level. You are literally pollinating the world with your greatest joys and passions. And we, the collective, feel it. With the Ten of Spokes, or Ten of Cups in reverse here, I feel there are some strained relationships. And for some of you, this is due to people wanting to spend time with you, but you've been so busy working on other things. While work is important, the people we love are important as well. So make sure to make time for those you love. Our work will always be there, but when it comes to people, things can change on a dime, and sometimes without any warning. For others of you, I'm drawn back to the lyric above about being lonely, and the tennis spokes or cups in reverse is all about not being emotionally fulfilled with something. And I also feel a sense of feeling constrained by a certain situation. I'm drawn to this skateboard on the card here. So some of you may love to skateboard, but whatever you love to do, Cancer, I can literally feel the freedom you feel when you do it. So it feels like some of you have been working on a passion, but someone around you doesn't believe in your dream. And you know what? That's okay because it's more important for you to believe in your dream because it's your dream. The tennis spokes in reverse also calls us to be very honest with ourselves about how we feel about something as well. I feel a lot of pain around not being supported by certain people in your life. And this very well could be what has caused some strained relationships and also why some of you haven't wanted to hang around certain family or friends. And I understand that completely. And whoa, right now, a quote just popped up on my phone. <laughs> I get these messages throughout the day, and I feel that this is one that it's something that some of you need to hear right now. Okay, so let me read it to you. It says, you might not realize it right now, but there are so many people watching you and drawing inspiration from you. Do it for them. And man, <laughs> I love when spirit comes through with messages like that. And exactly, keep pollinating the world with your joy because there are people you are helping, whether you see this truth or not. Keep showing up for yourself and for them because a major ripple effect is taking place. With your last card here, when I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire is in the reverse. So I feel this is spirit suggesting to focus on the good in your life at this time. Because if we focus on what's not going right, there's a tendency to keep focusing on what's not going right or on the people who don't show up for us. A shift in perspective will highlight the people who do show up for you and also on all the wins you've had along the way. And all wins are relevant, even the small ones, because it's progress on your journey nonetheless. Also, having a gratitude practice will help you stay focused on what's going right. This doesn't mean to shove problems under the rug, but it does mean that having mindfulness about the good things in our life helps us not to forget the good things in our life. Wow, Cancer, beautiful messages. Those are your channeled song lyrics coming through from spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps out in a big way. So again, thank you. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey Leo Souls, Happy New Year. 
I hope 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. I'm going to jump into your reading immediately here, but first I wanted to cleanse the energy with this Palo Santo that I got for Christmas, and I love it. It smells very good. All right, so your channeled lyrics are from the song Adore You by Harry Styles. And this is one of my favorite songs of all time. I sing and dance to it every time I hear it. So I'm excited to see what spirit is bringing through for you. Okay. I'd walk through fire for you. Just let me adore you. Okay, Leo. Let's see what your cards have to say. First, we have... Your 11-year-old self. Next, we have the Four of Strands in reverse or the Four of Wands in reverse. And finally, it's in reverse, but it says, When I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and movements will form. Okay, so Spirit is keeping it simple here with two lyrics. I'd walk through fire for you and just let me adore you. So with your first card being your 11 year old self, I feel many of you have done some major inner child healing. And this is the energy you are giving your inner child. I hear many of you speaking to your inner child with loving words like, I'll protect you no matter what, and I love you. And these lyrics above are exactly what you were saying to the sweet child within you, Leo. You're telling your inner child to just let you adore them as you reparent yourself and that you will literally walk through fire for them to protect them at all costs. This also could be a suggestion to love your inner child more consistently. And you know what? An interesting thing happens once we start doing inner child work. Our inner child starts to feel safe with us and will start showing us cool things. For example, you could have dreams of what you love to do as a child which is often an indicator of your true passion in life. Or you could be shown ways to be more playful. Your little one will come closer to you as you come closer to them with unconditional love and support. With the four of strands or the four of wands in reverse, some of you may be experiencing difficulties at home. And I do feel this is a karmic pattern that has been repeating from the past. While we can't change the past, we can heal our past, which leads to us no longer bringing the past into our present moment. And we do this with processing our emotions and forgiveness. I didn't realize how powerful forgiveness was until my spiritual journey began. And there is also a very powerful forgiveness prayer that I learned called Ho'oponopono. It's only four sentences, and they are, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And this prayer is absolutely amazing for inner child healing, if that is something that you would like to try. There are also many videos on YouTube about it. But I'm also feeling another energy come through now. Um, I feel very strongly that gossip and rumor spreading is coming from this four of strands in reverse here. Something also could have come to light over Christmas as I'm drawn to the lights that are around the door. I also keep hearing misunderstandings in some cases. And I also feel that childhood trauma was triggered for some of you. And how you feel is valid, okay? Triggers are not easy, but they are an opportunity for us to let go of the pain. So allow yourself to feel whatever has come up 
and give your inner child the love that they did not receive from this cycle that has been repeating. And once you feel a sense of peace with your emotions, that is a great time to practice forgiveness. And we never forgive for the people who hurt us. We forgive to free ourselves. With your last card here, when I make joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally, support will surround me, and movements will form. It's also in the reverse position. So I feel spirit is saying to make your joys and passions a priority. And from your 11-year-old self, I do feel your inner child has some amazing suggestions on what you can do to make your joy and passions a priority. I'm also drawn to the sketch drawing here on the card. <laughs> so some of you may love to draw or to paint, but I do feel a strong sense of some type of creativity. And creativity also helps us to heal. So perhaps channeling some of your emotions into something creative would be beneficial for you. But the moment you decide to make your joy and passions a priority, this is when things will really shift in your reality. Downloads for really cool ideas will come in for you and supportive people will show up to help you along the way. You will also start to see movement in your reality like never before because of this one slight change. But also whatever difficult situation you are in right now, sweet Leo, <laughs> it's happening for you and not to you. It's cracking you open so that you open your heart and keep it open. I also feel very strongly you're experiencing wounds from the mother line in your lineage. Mothering yourself will help you send ripples of love, nurturing, and compassion down your ancestral lineage. Because when you heal yourself, you help your lineage in a big way as well. Wow, Leo. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. That is all that I am seeing. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me, and it helps out in a big way. So again, thank you. I love you all so much, and I will see you on the next video. Hey Virgo souls, happy new year. I hope 2024 is treating you well so far and I am so grateful that you are here. I'm gonna jump right into your reading. I just wanted to cleanse the energy to start. All right, so your channel lyrics are from the song Narcissist by No Rome. I've been seeing somebody, you know I want you to be happy. So start seeing somebody and then maybe we can get on with it. Okay, Virgo, let's see what your cards are. First we have, there are no wrong turns. the Ace of Spokes or the Ace of Cups. And finally, each time I choose to tune in to spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. Okay, so spirit is pointing out narcissism here. And that's very clear with the title of the song. And I also find this very interesting because I too am a Virgo and I've actually been working on letting go of narcissistic relationships in my life. So we are all doing this together, okay? But the lyrics above broadcast how a narcissist thinks. They will cheat and remain in a relationship that's supposed to be committed but they also don't really care if their partner leaves them. The lyrics state, so start seeing somebody and then maybe we can get on with it. 
A narcissist doesn't have the guts to be honest with their partner, especially when they want to end things. So they cheat, hoping that will end things or hoping their partner starts seeing someone new, so that will end things. Are you dealing with someone similar right now, Virgo? Your first card here states, there are no wrong turns. So I feel an energy of not wanting to make the wrong decision with something. And spirit is saying that you are protected and covered no matter which direction you choose to go in, okay? Also, don't beat yourself up if in the past you stayed in a toxic situation for longer than you feel you should have. Everything is a learning experience and we are all doing the best we can with the knowledge and awareness we have at each time. And okay, a, a quote just popped up on my phone just now, and I believe that there are no coincidences in this universe, so I'm going to read this to you because I believe it's a message for you. It says, sometimes life sends us people who don't love us enough to remind us of what we're worthy of. And it was Mandy Hale who said this. But that seems very fitting for your reading here. And I love <laughs> when spirit brings surprise messages through like that. So this is also what spirit means by there are no wrong turns. There are blessings and lessons in every experience we have. And with your next card here, the Ace of Spokes or the Ace of Cups, this card symbolizes beautiful new emotional experiences and relationships coming in. And this card is showing up in your reading, sweet Virgo, because you have learned valuable lessons from your past relationships. And if you are struggling to make a decision right now, your past experiences are going to serve you in making a good decision, okay? You are someone who learns from their mistakes, so trust yourself. Virgo is also one of the most self-sacrificing signs in the Zodiac. And I feel you are entering a season where you are learning to choose yourself instead of pleasing people. I also feel you are learning how to walk away from situations and people with your head held high. And this feels like a very humbling energy. And that's why beautiful new relationships are coming in for you. Because you are becoming aware of how you deserve to be treated and you are no longer settling for less. And when you value yourself, you attract people who value you as well. With your last card, each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. Yep, Virgo, spirit has got your back here. <laughs> You have such a big heart, and you've worked very hard on healing yourself. The divine isn't going to let anyone get away with deceiving you. If you've had any doubts about anyone, you will be shown their true nature if you haven't already. And these insights could come through meditation or your dreams. Or you may receive a surprise download at a certain time. I feel... There are karmic soul ties you came to break in this lifetime. And because there is a contract to do so, you will receive guidance when to cut cords with these people. Trust, as the highest truth can always be found within yourself. Beautiful, Virgo. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song lyrics from Spirit and messages from the cards here. Thank you again for being here. Also, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps out in a big way. So thank you so much. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey Libra Souls, Happy New Year. I hope that 2024 is treating you well so far, and I am so grateful that you are here. I want to jump immediately into your reading, but I just wanted to cleanse the energy here with some Palo Santo. I just got this for Christmas, and I love it. <laughs> it smells so good. All right, so 
your channeled lyrics are from the song Sunflower, Volume 6 by Harry Styles. Your flowers just died. Plant new seeds in the melody. Let me inside. I want to get to know you. I don't want to make you feel bad. Okay, Libra, let's see what your cards are. First up, we have every cycle is a higher opportunity. Next, we have the six of spokes in reverse or the six of cups in reverse. And finally, we have, this is in reverse as well, and it says, I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. All right, so Spirit is showing me that a new chapter is emerging in your life right now. And with the first lyrics, your flowers just died. I feel like something you created or were creating didn't pan out. You walked away from it or certain people or the door has been closed with something. And I do feel a strong sense of grief around whatever this is because it feels like you genuinely enjoyed or loved these things. With the next lyrics, plant new seeds in the melody, Spirit is suggesting to plant some brand new seeds because now that the old has fallen away, new energy is emerging to help you create in a brand new space. With let me inside, I want to get to know you and I don't want to make you feel bad. This feels like new friends or love relationships coming in that will make you feel emotionally safe. There is a sense of hesitancy, though, from possible painful experiences from the past. I'm also drawn to the title of the song, Sunflower Volume 6. And this indicates to me that there have been many new beginnings in your life, and you haven't shied away from any of them, Libra. But I do feel the energy of wanting to feel settled for once, as many of you are tired of having to start all over again. With your first card here, every cycle is a higher opportunity. This is the cycle spirit was referring to from the lyric about planting new seeds above. This new cycle is a brand new opportunity to create something new and to make different choices than you may have made in the past. New choices lead to new results as the same choices always lead to the same results. You are being given an opportunity to make a new choice. So what do you prefer to experience, Libra? With the six of spokes or the six of cups in reverse, this card symbolizes a routine that feels boring in nature or being stuck in the past. This could also represent making the same decisions that are keeping you stuck. Spirit is suggesting that in order to plant some new seeds, to focus on what it is that truly makes you happy. Prioritize time for fun, as you may be surprised with new downloads and inspirations that come through from that joyful energy. With your last card here, I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. It's in the reverse position. So spirit is saying that your faith has the power to move mountains. So if you have felt a lack of faith lately, trust that everything is working out for your highest good. And any difficult situations that are coming up are happening for you and not to you. You're being cracked open so that you can open your heart, Libra, and to keep it open. I feel major healing of your past is taking place or is about to as well. And as you heal your past, you heal in the present which stops the past from repeating in the present. Call back your power from those who have hurt you as these relationships have affected your ability to have healthy relationships. If we don't heal from those who have hurt us, we can end up hurting people the universe has sent to help us. 
and our perception and beliefs can be skewed because we are expecting to be hurt again. Don't allow a painful past to keep you from the beauty in your present right now and also from the blessings yet to enter your life. And as the wise Buddha once said, attachment leads to suffering. You deserve your highest good and your soul is calling you to move toward it. A higher opportunity is presenting itself to you and it's up to you if you decide to heed the calling. Some of you are being called to journey somewhere specific and I feel many of you have had dreams about certain locations. These are messages from the divine as this specific place holds a key for you and only you know what that key is for. I'm also hearing how this year is a leap year and this is not a coincidence as many in the collective will be making massive leaps of faith this year. Is this the year you take a leap of faith, Libra? Because when you show the universe that you have unwavering faith, the universe aligns your vision with your true heart's desires. And for many of you, that is to align with your genuine and authentic soul family. And journeying somewhere could be what leads you to them. Also, you have a very bright light, okay? Refuse to dim it to fit in with anyone. And your tribe cannot find you if you aren't shining at your brightest. Call them in by shining as bright as you possibly can. They will fill it energetically and be attracted to your soul frequency because they share a similar soul frequency as you do. You're not meant to do it all by yourself, Libra. Answer the call. Beautiful, Libra. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me. And it helps out in a very big way. So thank you. I love you all so much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, Scorpio souls. Happy New Year. I hope that 2024 is treating you well so far. And I am so grateful that you are here. I want to jump right into your reading, but I wanted to cleanse the energy. This is Palo Santo and I just got it for Christmas. I love it. it smells amazing. All right, so your channeled lyrics are from the song Bambi by Hippocampus. I swear to God, I wasn't born to fight. Maybe just a little bit, enough to make me sick of it, but I can read between the lines. I want to run from everything. Okay, Scorpio, so let's see what your cards are. First we have, close your eyes to open your heart. The 10 of strands or the 10 of wands. And finally, Appreciation dissolves all blocks to my appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. Okay, so with your first lyric, I swear to God I wasn't born to fight. You are tired of fighting, Scorpio. And this is in every sense of the word. Your second lyric states, maybe just a little bit, enough to make me sick of it. You are tired of fighting with people. You are tired of fighting with your own mind and you are tired of fighting against life itself. The last two lyrics state, I can read between the lines and I want to run from everything. Spirit is showing me how you just want to run from everything to avoid fighting these battles. And you know what, Scorpio? It really doesn't have to be this hard. It really doesn't, okay? Life is meant to be simple, easy, magical, and fun. 
And we can't run from things just because they're difficult. If we do that, we will find that we will just attract the same experience with a different group of people. You can refuse to fight, okay? You can choose your peace, but don't avoid the things that are keeping you trapped in a certain karmic pattern. What we resist persists. So this pattern in your life, it's repeating because it's something you are meant to face and not run from. So with your first card here, close your eyes to open your heart. The answers to your current situation lie within you. Allow yourself to find quiet and stillness so you can hear what your intuition is guiding you to do. And you will know it's your intuition because it will give you gentle answers that are unconditionally loving. With the Ten of Strands here or the Ten of Wands, this is that overwhelming energy that you feel currently. And I'm drawn to how it says ABC on the wall here, but then it stops. So I feel like there are answers you are seeking, but you haven't received them. And I also feel that many of you are aware of this avoidance pattern. So for some of you, it has to do with being radically honest with someone from a loving place. Something isn't working out here and you don't know how to tell them. In this life, it's inevitable that we are going to disappoint people and that people are going to disappoint us, okay? So learning to walk away gracefully while not holding yourself responsible for the other person's feelings can be hard to do because how someone leaves in our life tells us a lot about that person and how they really feel about us. But also, learning to walk away gracefully and not holding yourself responsible for the other person's feelings, this is necessary if you know in your heart that it's the right thing to do, okay? I'm also drawn to how it kind of looks like she's climbing up the wall here, she's stepping on the bed, but there are no steps on the wall for her to climb higher. So Spirit is saying your next steps will be given to you, okay, Scorpio? But first, you must face what you are avoiding. It's what's causing a blockage on your path here. And with your last card here, it says, Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. And you know, look at that. We were just talking about the blockage on your path. So Spirit is also suggesting to look at your situation in a new light. What is it teaching you right now? What is the ultimate lesson here? Being grateful for it all can also help to clear blockages. And perhaps you're being called to go within and see the beauty in the chaos, saying to the universe, thank you for this challenge. I'm willing to learn what you are teaching me. Thank you for providing the next steps to me with undeniable signs and synchronicities. And then watch and wait to see what the universe delivers to you. The universe looks at everything as an opportunity to learn and grow from. And the answers will come if you simply ask for them, Scorpio. Wow. Beautiful, Scorpio. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song lyrics from Spirit. Thank you again for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me. And it helps out in a big way. So again, thank you. I love you all so much. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hey, Sagittarius souls. Happy New Year. I hope that 2024 is treating you well so far. And I am so grateful that you are here. I want to jump right into your reading. But first, I wanted to cleanse the energy with some Palo Santo. This stuff smells so good. This is, I got this for Christmas and I love it. <laughs> okay. So, your channeled lyrics are from the song Stargazing by the Neighborhood. <laughs> Underneath the stars, looking for a sign, glowing in the dark, till the sun shines. Made it pretty far, 
on the first try might have set the bar a little too high. Okay, so let's see what your cards are. First we have, oh, it's in reverse. So right side up it says, you will only see the way by making the way. We have the king of scoops in reverse or the king of pentacles in reverse. And finally, this one's also in reverse. Right side up, it says, directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. All right, so with your first lyric, Sagittarius, underneath the stars, looking for a sign, Spirit is showing me how you've been stuck with something or feel like you've hit a wall. And you very well could have been stargazing, meditating, and listening to your intuition for a sign as to what to do next. But with glowing in the dark till the sun shines, I can see that you are still moving forward and shining your light wherever you can, even in the darkest of places. But it seems that the light hasn't fully shined on what it is you are looking for exactly. With made it pretty far on the first try and might have set the bar a little too high, this means you know what it means to succeed and you are not someone who gives up. But when a door closes, you know how to find another way. Spirit is suggesting to examine your expectations though. It's okay to set the bar high for yourself, but if you don't reach what you set out for yourself initially, it's important not to be hard on yourself. Congratulate yourself for how far you did make it and celebrate the little victories along the way. With your first card here, you will only see the way by making the way. It's in the reverse position. And with the lyric above, glowing in the dark, the man on the card is literally glowing in the dark with his light torch when it's right side up. But it's in reverse. So Spirit is saying, you will find the answers you seek by making the way. So instead of waiting for signs and synchronicities from the universe, start taking action in a direction that feels good to you. And see then what signs and synchronicities show up. If it's a no, you're going to fill it immediately, okay? The universe and our guides are always there to guide and help us. But one big thing they love to teach us is to rely on our own intuition. And sometimes the guidance stops for a time because they want to show us that it's safe to make mistakes. With the king of scoops or king of pentacles in reverse, spirit is bringing through a message to take time to enjoy the abundance you have manifested for yourself. I feel you have an amazing work ethic and you are here to succeed, sweet Sagittarius. But sometimes we have to slow down and take in the beauty of what we have created in our reality. It's okay to dip into your savings and go on a trip somewhere or buy yourself something really cool. You add a lot of value to the world with your service and you deserve to experience the finer things in life as well. Enjoy what you have earned as work will always be there when you return, okay? With your last card here, directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. It's also in the reverse position. So spirit is suggesting a shift in where you are currently directing your focus. When we focus on what's going wrong or things not working out, that is where energy is flowing to. So what is going right for you right now, Sagittarius? What is thriving? Putting your focus on those things will send energy to what it is you want to see more of in your reality. Beautiful, Sagittarius. Wow. That is all that I am seeing. Those are your channeled song messages from Spirit. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to me and it helps out in a big way. So again, thank you. I love you all so much and I will see you on the next video.